Welcome to round nine of XCR 2017, the Burnley Half Marathon. The course for open men and women, a half marathon, 21.1 kilometres, while junior age groups cover a shorter five kilometre race. The men got off to a good start, with Athletics Essendon's Liam Adams taking an early lead, very quickly beginning to pull away from the rest of the front pack. Following was Essendon teammate Mitch Brown, Doncaster's Matthew Johnson, Nick Earl from Melbourne Uni and Steve Deneen from Box Hill. Adams kept pushing, increasing his lead through the middle of the race while the foursome held together. Stretching to a nearly three minute lead, Adams claimed a definitive victory in one hour, four minutes, 54. Mitch Brown crossing the line to take second in one hour, seven minutes, 41. And Nick Earl in one hour, eight minutes, just ahead of Steve Deneen. Liam Adams, congratulations, Victorian Half Marathon champion. Cheers, thanks Tim. Moving forward, you're looking at the uh, Berlin Marathon in only two weeks' time. So today, preparation, obviously. Uh, yes, yeah. I wanted a, a pretty good solid hit out and I went in there with the idea of trying to run 65 and just managed to do that in the end. I thought with about two laps to go, I might struggle a bit here because I, I think I was exactly on pace and then I think I was bleeding a fair bit of time um, towards the end, but my actual gun was saying I was running quicker. So, um, yeah, I was quite happy to just get that in the end, yeah. Yeah, so that obviously lines you up quite nicely for Berlin and then you've got a view to qualify for the Commonwealth Games, obviously. Uh, yeah, Berlin's to... Uh, I'm racing Berlin to try and qualify. I originally wanted a really super fast time, but I feel that I'm still about two months. I need another two months of training under the belt, so... Now, we were talking about some of the opposition, like Collis Birmingham and Hamer and uh, Benny St Lawrence coming out to play. What time do you realistically think should get you into the Com Games? Uh... It, it's hard to say because they're all debuting and who knows what they're capable of. They're, they're all really good runners, so um, it's going to be tough. Uh, I'm hoping that if I can run about 2.13 in Berlin or something around that or 2.12 or something like that, um, that should be able to secure a spot, but who knows. It's going to be interesting. Well, well done on today's effort and good luck for the Berlin campaign. Cheers, Tim. Thanks. Here are the top eight results for the Open Men. Open men and women had Olympic marathon leaders, with Lisa Waitman of Melbourne Uni pushing hard in the early stages of the race to take a significant lead on second place Virginia Maloney from Collingwood. Nia Jones of Richmond Harriers held third for the first two laps before Sophie Ryan of Old Severians moved into position. So Waitman, Waitman laps, sat in with a strong male Lisa pack that kept her moving comfortably throughout the race, with Maloney sitting between packs unable to catch up. Waitman cruised to victory in 1.11.14, four and a half minutes ahead of Maloney in 1.15.44. Sophie Ryan claiming the bronze in 1.17.47. Lisa Waitman, congratulations, Victorian Half Marathon champion. Thanks, it's my first one, so it's nice to come out here on a, on a really good day and, and have a good run and become the state champion. It's been a while. Now, typical in an AV event, you had a lovely pack to run there for a while, that must have helped a lot. Yeah, especially with the turns, you're going up and back, up and back, so it's nice to have a group uh, help each other out and, and just to forget what lap you're up to and just keep going at a, at a sort of constant pace and that's a nice way to run a, a longer distance race. Now a brilliant race in London earlier this year, 5th in 2.25, but you're not resting on your laurels there moving to Commonwealth Games and we've got another marathon coming up, haven't we? I have. I'm um, fortunate to get the opportunity to run in Chicago in the elite field, which will be a really great experience and my first one in Chicago and, and uh, taking the family there and, and Michael Shelley's also having a run. So um, we'll have Dick with us and, and we'll have a good little group of um, Telford runners to, to uh, spur each other on and hopefully have another good run. Uh, London was just a dream come true and 2.25 was a time I'd been chasing for many, many years. So uh, topping that one again is going to be a challenge, but it's nice to, um, to have that one on, on the books. Now obviously your teammate Jess Trengove also ran very well in London and then in London again for the World Champs getting in the top 10 position which secures her a spot in the Com Games. So it's going to be a very decent team up there, isn't it? 
It will be, and, and that's fantastic. It's fantastic for women in sport, and and great to see that you know every, all the girls are coming through and and really pushing each other. And um, yeah, it'll be a wonderful team to be part of, especially in our on our home soil. So pretty exciting, and not far away really to think that it will be in April next year. Uh, yeah, it's it's an exciting time for female distance running. Well, Lisa, it's just absolutely awesome to have you back in the ABC scene, and congratulations on today's run. Thanks. Look forward to another one soon. Thanks, Tim. And here are the top eight results for the Open Women's Competition. Combined junior age groups race over five kilometres. Under 20 age group and line honours went to Cody Shanahan of Western A's, second Callan Goldsmith from Mornington Peninsula, then Doncaster's Lachlan Hurd. In the under 18 boys, Jack Itter from Diamond Valley, William Collins from Knox and Andrew Amore from Ballarat Region. The under 16 boys, Harry Sharp from Ballarat Region, Matthew Catterson also from Ballarat and Caden Murray from Diamond Valley. Under 14 boys, Kane Marriott from Diamond Valley, Wolfgang Cotran M of Collingwood and Angus Norman from Yarra Rangers. Women's under 20 went to Shania Murray of Diamond Valley, Erica Flores from Glen Huntley and Amelia Eagling Every from Essendon. Under 18s, Abby Caldwell from Doncaster, Olivia Hobbs from Geelong Region and Sophie McMinimi from Western A's. Under 16, Ebony Dottermaid from Western A's, Taryn Folletti from Bendigo Region and Georgia Laven of Yarra Rangers. Rounding out the juniors is the under 14 girls, Lucinda Rourke of Williamstown, also Williamstown's Jamie Lee Code and Megan Dixon from Geelong Region. Keep watching Asphic TV for more athletics action. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.